Alright. What do we want? Is there an easy way to look at these? Oh god, it's not the easy way to look at that, clearly. Let's go back to the armory, view soldiers, by status. What do we got? AWC abilities. This is a specialist. Wait, this is our our Overwatch specialist. I suppose the executioner is not going to be super useful there, but Ghost Walker on specialist is generally pretty fucking awesome. Um, that's interesting to me. A uh, ranger with volatile mix, return fire, and covert. Uh, maybe return fire, but the rest doesn't seem that interesting to me on a ranger. Especially a ranger we decide is going to be do shooting. Let's take a look at the assault. Salt has steady hands, turn fire, guardian, turn fire maybe. Oh, we have to equip a pistol. This is I keep thinking that pistols are just on guys, but they're not. So I'm less interested in all of those. What about this uh, this guy here? Mm, quick study. Uh, I kind of like the idea of quick study <laughs> here. Right? Let's get yep. another quick study. Guy. A campaign where all our technicals have quick study, and then we don't actually train any other ability on them. That seems fine. All right. So I mean, does can a flamethrower critical? It cannot now. <laughs> can a rocket critical? And does shadow I'm, strike affect rockets? It does not. I don't believe. I don't think that aim applies, and I'm certain that the crit doesn't apply. All right, we'll get quick study. Maybe we'll get some officer abilities on these guys or something. They seem like terrible officers, but hey, who am I to complain? Yeah, I agree. Like, not to you. Okay. Ah, we could have done suppression on him, and he would have maybe been a cool officer. Eh. This is why we shouldn't have done the level ups until he actually like knew as much information as possible, because hmm. we didn't know he was quick study when we locked that in. Right. Spin the wheel. Yeah, watch out for the extract VIP. When it's hitting like close to 66%, we've got to do our flyaway. Okay. we got to read this South Africa. And South Africa. Okay, let's fix that. Okay. You target. All right, one day, one hour. You want to do it? No. 47%. How Valuable. do I cancel a scan, by the way? Mid, do I just do I click it again? Right click. Right click. Right click. Okay. Yep. It's valuable to see that mission because it tells us when the gorilla op ends so we know when a new one's spawning. I just want to like point that out because a lot of people get really irritated with their UI getting spammed by lots and lots of missions and it is giving you some information. Okay. Um, so this is a 99%er. This is the one that we were hoping to get 100% on and didn't. I thought we were supposed to fly away from this one. Yeah, we were. Um, it says enemy readiness normal, though. So. Okay. so let's do it. Next mission. Uh, chat disagrees with you. They think Shadow Strike does apply to rockets. Can you confirm or deny? Um... What? Why do they? Space jamming says with shadow sight applies when attacking enemies. Rocket is an AOE attack. He's, uh, he's using the semantic we... argument. Like, oh, like, like reading the lock and then using semantics from that. That's not how abilities work in this game. Okay. <laughs> this is long war. My, the best of my knowledge, uh, most of the time, when long war says one thing, you just assume the exact opposite and work from that assumption, and you're you're more likely to find it to be true. Just, yeah, just do something five times, and assuming it did the same thing all five times, you can be like 50% confident that that's what it does. <laughs> yeah, right. All right, this miss mission. I, I'd like to see, I get really bored on the strategic layer. Uh, I really like the tactical layer. It's a lot of fun. Strategic layer is, it's good on learning behind what's going on behind the scenes, so I can have more fun on the tactical layer, but I get bored on it. Yeah, I think that, like, given that you play EU4 and stuff, and 
Civ games. I think that if all the mechanics were displayed well and the UI were manageable and stuff, I think you'd be able to get into the strategic layer more. It's unfortunate that it's a bit unwieldy and a bit hidden. Yeah, and it's just a lot of clunky interactions. I hate, I, like, I love the fact that there's a million different ways you can promote guys with different abilities and different builds, and all that sounds really interesting until you're micromanaging your fucking haven while simultaneously micromanaging the missions and micromanaging your characters, like, two days here and one day here shit. It's really boring. It's yeah. not like that element of the game. All right, also, I would like this mission to load. Now I've seen this poodle, I can't unsee it, and I'd never seen it before. And it's really <laughs> fucking with my head over here. Why is there a giant poodle over here? <laughs> this is a more than life-size portrait of a poodle. It's like three times life-size. All right. Smash and grab. That. And that. Yeah, let's try to let's try to do your slow guys. Slow guys do the scouting. It's very bizarre for me to think that. Okay, so we're actually. Well, coming... we can't do it here because they're not concealed. We just have to use the shinobi in this one. Oh, that's easier then. Okay. Um, do you like the idea of clearing this out and then approaching to there? Yeah, like six guys, five guys. Uh, we have a good number. Uh, six. Six. But they're a little light on consumables. Yep. I'd go here. With the shinobi. And then I would have pushed so this side. Back first. Yep. What's the value of going to evac if we're like what what chance do you think there is that we lose the mission so badly that we need to be a turn closer to evac with this? Uh ninety six percent. Um Wait, a... you think that's going to happen ninety six? Yeah. I'm I'm more confident in our abilities than that. I think uh, we, we can have just no consumables. So Anything we engage at range is gonna fuck us. So, I, I want to get some serious sight with our shinobi then this turn. If we're gonna if we're gonna make, I don't know. If we're, if we're really gonna approach this way, I mean, I suppose there's not a lot of sight over this side. You want to come at it this way? I would assume that anything we anything we encounter from moving this way to this way, we're gonna have to kill anyways, right? Because we're gonna have to do that on the way out. Why don't we run into them on our own terms, knowing that? What is the advantage of heading this way? Um. So the really big thing to worry about, and this is unfortunately sort of a hidden mechanic thing, it's pretty gamey, but because pods get positioned between you and some objective location at the start of the mission, if we head around to the side of the map and sort of come into the middle of that line, more or less, all of a sudden we have pods concaved against us, basically perfectly. Like we're What do you mean? So we, okay, so if we went here the and then went there, the, they are only pl placed at us when we start. So at the moment, they are essentially like here in a line. No, 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 no. The line goes the other way, perpendicular to what you just drew. It goes this way? Start at our soldiers and right. go to the objectives. And right. that's the line. Yeah, that's 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 our that's the line between us and the objective. Aren't they placed in between that? They're placed along that line. Oh basically. along the line. Oh that's yeah. different. Okay, and the problem is if we went over here, there's a line of guys that way that are heading towards us. Yeah. And if we and go this sudden, way, we're going to run into... Okay, hand. I see. All right. Yeah. It's not quite as clean as I just described it, but that's the general idea. How do you feel about they front of this car versus corner around. cover on the bike? I like corner cover on the bike a little bit more. I don't respect the timer all that much on smashing grabs. Even if we flow over it, we have like two or three turns where enemies drop and don't really do that much to us. So I don't freak out that much. Yeah, that's an example of how how it's not as clean as I just said it was. Those guys are obviously deployed quite a long way to the left of the line. I don't know. It's really, it doesn't seem that far away from the left of the line. It feels like about six or seven tiles. So um, I okay. would potentially sure. set up to overwatch trap these guys. Any thoughts? Yeah, it sounds good to me. And another another point to make is that their patrol zones are based on that line largely. So they're rectangles which are situated on on top of the line facing us. One of the sides of the rectangle is facing us. So they're probably in the left side of their patrol zone and they're probably going to patrol sort of 
along left to right in front of us a lot of the time. So yeah, the Overwatch trap is quite likely to succeed because of that. Okay. I guess the sniper really can't do that, but uh, still, everybody else can. Um, are you worried about this tile pulling the drone? The drone has, how much extended range the sight does the drone have compared to the other guys? Is it extended sight or just extended detection radius? It's just extended detection. Okay. I'm a little bit worried about it pulling the drone. I wish that we could see the drone. Where was the drone? Absolutely. It was over there. I don't know where the drone is. Okay. We're probably fine. We have some nice SMG damage here too, so the Overwatch ought to be pretty successful. Oh yeah. No, our, our team is outstanding. I love this rookie who has uh, an SMG and no armor. Does she have armor? I don't think so. We gave her armor? You must have been loading out this one. <laughs> the armor rookie said four health. Goddamn right, I gave them armor. All right, if I hollow target, does it pull him? No, but it also wears off. Wait, no, it doesn't wear off until the start of our turn. That's what I'm saying. Like, would yeah, we get you can hollow target him without pulling him. Do you promise? Yeah, I promise. Okay. It's like an entire build. There's an entire build where you just hollow target the pod before they pull, and then like your overwatches kill them. We're like 0-4 for like Overwatch traps. The only Overwatch trap we've hit is when we flamethrower it. And that's not really Overwatch, that's literally just flamethrower. Okay. So they patrolled away, it's kind of annoying because we need to kill them at some point, right? Yeah, we've got some nice uh, line of sight breaking walls coming up, so we should be able to fight them without too much else getting in the way though. And so you, sort of... I'm sorry, you, you're saying because this shit blocks the line of sight, we should go chase that down to engage them? I'd sort of shadow their movement, run sort of parallel to them, and expect them to eventually move into us. We're still trying to get the Overwatch ambush, but we don't really want to engage them at long range no. on our own turn that much. We absolutely do not. Um, Alright. Shinobi. East or west? Or I guess right or left side, there's no reason to think this is east or west of the map. I would go here. Because it's Shinobi and I'm, I'm, I want sight. Yeah, I like that. Bestätigt. They really buggered off. Alright. There's no, they're, they're not on uh, yellow alert, right? So we can take bizarre locations in, in, uh, in Overwatch? Potentially even out yeah, in the, the open? The only danger is if we put stuff on yellow alert, like, before it patrols next turn. So if we're on Overwatch and we shoot and then other stuff here and goes on yellow alert and patrols into us. Oh, um, that's not very likely, though. I, I would usually just stand in the open and Overwatch here. And sometimes you get screwed, but it doesn't happen often. Sniper might be the exception. I'd consider moving the sniper to the corner cover here. You could even go backward to the roof that you have behind you. But I don't want to move uh, the sniper too far back. With a frag grenade. Yeah, with a frag grenade, I agree. Moving up to the corner cover seems hey. fine. Alright, uh, would you move the Shinobi for a second move now? I think I would. I think I would throw her... Uh, this corner cover there, but I can't see inside the building. It's a little bit sketchy. Can't get the other corner cover. Is there a corner cover here? It's not. Uh, I think I'd consider something like that. I go to the tree in front of you. That one? Like I just I'm I don't think it's valuable enough to risk the detection to get extra vision at all. Drones have like ten tile detection at us and yeah. So I'm not really moving within ten tiles of a fog of war tile the drone could be on. I heard a mech. Heard a mech? Yeah. Oh boy. Do you have a ranger on this? Uh, no. Thank you. I don't know if we can kill him. I mean, eventually we can. We hit him twice, that's pretty good. Oh my god, we killed something with an overwatch trap. This is, this is unlike us. Okay, he's cheating and overwatched us. Uh, 
57, 28. Do we have anything that can run anything? Oh, so what is this? This is a Grenadier with Sapper. This is a Rookie. This is a Rookie. This is a Shinobi. This is a Gunner. And this is a Sniper. So now we have nothing that can do anything to anything. In fact, why did we ever engage the enemy? <laughs> we have no our overwatch solution in this pot is in this squad is the gunner we moved the gunner to a place where he can suppress and just suppress the overwatch off well the gunner can't move because he's currently covered by an overwatch okay. so he just uh solution b the rookie can he move backward the gunner i suspect not but we'll take a look maybe backward to the right to use the tree to break line of sight Looks no. like no, not at all. Hmm. It's kind of fucking irritating. I don't really want the to run gunner... the for it. Um, we can't get in range on the sniper. We could take a 33% chance, but that seems like a very unlikely chance that we're going to actually deal with that. I could just grenade 43. it. Oh, you can just grenade it. Well, okay. I mean, but we're going to be in open room. Oh, yeah, that, that seems fine. Yeah, it looks like we're either taking an overwatch shot from the gunner or being in the open. Wait, can the shinobi get to him without pulling the overwatch, maybe? No. Because he can't see her to the right side of... She's actually pinned. If she moves at all, the drone the drone reveals her. And he actually can see her to the right side of the tree as well. Yeah, we are. We're pinned. Okay. So, uh, a comment to make which like hindsight 2020 but something to think about in future is that we should probably be making sure that somebody like a gunner has a uh, cover tile available to suppress from in case this happens okay. Grenade! like we want to be able to deal with the overwatches without exposing our soldiers but yeah it would have been more useful if i worked that out before this happened instead of after that's okay all right so uh 73 I have to leave the drone for the other characters then. Um, too bad we have no shotguns or anything that will actually kill a drone. I'm going to be a little bit combat surprised. When we, when we, can we combat knife him? We can absolutely combat knife it. We can kill it with the combat knife and the sword. How close do we have to be to combat knife him? Next to it. There it is deals no... between one and two damage. The combat knife does? Yeah. Why did you make me take these horrible perks? <laughs> Combative doesn't affect the damage on the combat knife. That is, that is a terrible, the, uh, terrible thing. The damage on the melee enemies to attack us. I think I'd move there and shoot it. Uh, make sure the gunner is dead first. I think the sharpshooter is killing the gunner, right? Yeah, or, hey, why don't we just shoot the gunner with SMGs and then let the sharpshooter... We can. Um, they're not against that. All I want to know is... I, I just want to know is if I'm going to be fighting anything else this turn. It's the only reason why I want to move up right now. Mm. Uh, I don't think we have to move up that far. Do you really want to move up that far? It's probably safe. I'd be trying to take cover against the building. All I wanted, against, What I want to do is I want to free up the shinobi to against move around. The left. You, want to take, you want to take cover okay. against the building? This thing? Not like against the wall of the building. I want to take cover like facing the building. Why? Because that's where I think pods will come from. It's from where? Because like that's where the rest of the map is. So if we were they're there come, and they're uh, between our objective, they should actually be. They could be here. They could be here. I mean, we already got a pod from the left side, and there hasn't been enough time for people to really react to that noise. So I think they're they're going to be to the top right of the screen sort of direction as you're yeah so why would we not want to take cover over here then because we're just too far away oh that's what i was saying sorry oh that's where i started cover facing the building i see I'm... sorry sorry <laughs> I... yeah no, no sorry. problem no problem oh. there is a gunner i hope it's worth it see this might actually kill a drone one day Maybe. Instead of shooting with the sharpshooter, we could hollow target twice. On the drone? I was, thinking yeah. this. I was actually thinking about yeah. hollow targeting as well. Can we hollow target twice, though? Does it allow Can't... you to do that? 
we can't stack hollow target. We could hollow target the gunner and the drone, though. You used to be able to stack hollow target once upon a time. Mm -hmm. And in this situation, you just hollow target something three times, and all of a sudden it was dead, like, to anything. It's a bit strong. I think the drone's going to get a shot off on us pretty much regardless of what we do here. I guess if I had to, I would probably take the... Uh, I take the gunner shot here with the, uh, the cannon, and then I would, uh, yeah. Yeah, I think that's fine. We get that negative aim penalty for shooting the drone close by. Okay, and then I would, uh, I don't know about hull targeting it. What are my odds? Seventy-eight. I'd just probably shoot it a million fucking times right yeah. with SMGs right now. Sniper rifle first, maybe. Doesn't matter what order. Probably doesn't matter what order. Uh, we want to use the sharpshooter first because the sharpshooter can kill it from here. So oh, we might be able to get some actions back. Okay. The, maybe the other side is I guess the other two can't kill it. So I guess the thought was uh, might be nice to move the sharpshooter. Would you just grenade it to kill it? We've already fucking uh, grenaded. Grenade doesn't kill it. Like It only kills it 50% of the time and the grenade's really valuable. So I'd hold on okay. to it. I had a free hollow target. <laughs> Can I have hollow targeted then shot? Uh, you could have, but it's on a cooldown. It's like a four turn cooldown, which is way too valuable to want to use it right now. I see. Bzz. Ah! Okay. We've been tased by the drone. I'll just go do that then. What's she on about? Okay, um, I want to kill this so I can move the shinobi around. Um, I think I would reload and shoot it with the this rookie, the one that's not disoriented. Yep. Seems good. Okay. Je vous impressionne. The knife is for the celebratory after after mission cake, is what Chad has decided. That's why we have the combat knife. Played a. A troop column once back in like 1.0 or 1.1. Closest mission I've ever played in XCOM. I won it with one soldier left alive with one hit point. <laughs> um, I used the combat knife I think four times. Dealt something like 16 damage. It's amazing. Like it sounds it's, like probably why you just such a bad very shit. valuable. <laughs> it's a very valuable tool when things are going wrong. So much stuff tries to stand next to you on its own. But I want to go the there with my shinobi. Extra attack is nice. Yeah, I. Sure. There's no safe way to Your really approach building. building. Yeah, I agree. Moving into cover is fine. Okay. You can go up and over now. Like there with an overwatch. I mean, we. I guess this has a little bit more sight than the Shinobi does, but only by two tiles. And it's a pretty good spot if we have to. Well, kind of. It's good for the gunner. It's good, no good for anyone else. I guess I could move there first. Not a problem. We're very open to something coming at us from the right, which seems actually fairly likely is, to me as well. Yeah, somewhat likely. Well, if we hit it with Overwatch, you can't shoot us, right? Sure. Isn't that it's, what you said? I thought you said if they... If yeah. They... Yeah, no, it's true. Okay. We brought a lot of yeah. SMGs on the mission. So? It's not the, I mean, SMGs don't have a reduced accuracy, right? They're just less damage. So really they have fuck. really bad range tables at long range, oh, they so don't. they actually do have reduced accuracy on Overwatch shots usually. Yeah, huh. that's good to know. Come get some. Got it mm. What'd you do with this sniper? That tree? Um, I'm inclined to there? go to the blue car because of all the cover that it flanks. Maybe actually like to the. It seems so fucking sketchy. Uh, cuts us off from shooting some stuff there. We can go all the way right to the other blue car that's even further. That one? What are the odds we get a pack right I'm here? Not... Like 99.9%? <laughs> I'm not quite... I don't want to dash there right now. I'm not quite as attached to the frontline sharpshooter as you seem to be. So what I'm looking for with the sharpshooter's positioning 
is a tile somewhere which has good line of sight and which flanks yeah, a lot problem. of like, cover putting, tiles which enemies a, might want to take. Putting a sniper in a good position also uh, means he's out of the out away from your squad and on a timed mission he's not in he's not moving towards the objective or the evac zone. So the problem is like you spend all this yep. time setting up a sniper there, he doesn't get to take any shots because he runs out of fucking time and has to do something. So I hate snipers in the early game and I don't like them on uh, missions with timers like this because to take the cover seems to be to take the good spots seems to be a pretty negative experience, like a pretty big deal. I could be argued here if you really want, because there's not you're not going to get sight to the right. It's a little bit further back. It's hard cover. You can maybe shoot from there more, or I could be talked into there. Do you have a preference? Yeah, just move up. Just move up. We have hollow targeting and a frag grenade, so I think just moving up is fine. I'm just saying, like, I think that that is a lot less clear than you do. I wouldn't be that upset right now if my sharpshooter were on the high ground way behind us right where we spawned from the mission and he's hollow targeting and he's taking shots and we're engineering situations where enemies are shootable for him. Like we have a sapper grenadier, we have the ability to sort of pull enemies into us using noise and things like that. So I think we can, you know, it's not that hard to give our sharpshooter elevated shots against uncovered enemies, and we can even engineer situations where they're flanking themselves against them. How do you feel about moving our shinobi to here? Give I just ball. do it next turn. I don't think okay. we have to right now. There's a mech somewhere. You can even... Oh, there we are. Fun troopers! That's a lot of hit points. Yeah. This is a tough mission for a team with very little ability to um, kill something with eight hit points. Uh, Sun Troopers don't have any ben benefits versus uh, Overwatch, right? Because I kind of I'd be tempted to pull this squad right now. Yeah, I like it. You have a nice shot with the Sharpshooter. You have combatives on your gunner, so if you post the gunner by the window, there's a decent chance the Shar uh, Stun Lancer like wastes its action and gets stabbed in the face. Okay, so for example, start with the, uh, the sniper shot, move the gunner up here afterwards. Yep. Okay, and... And I'd, I'd use rapid targeting on this sharpshooter shot. Okay. Is that what we took? Is that what our perk was? That's why. Okay, so I can... I can hollow target them with this? With the green button to the right oh, of right. hollow Got targeting. It. It's like a different ability slightly. Um, 73, what would you go for? Stun Lancer or the Sectoid? Probably you'd say the Stun Lancer, right? Because they're going to be... Well, the one's going to be neutralized, but there's two of them, and I can't do it twice, right? Or can I? Uh, we don't even know that one's going to be neutralized. He may not attack the gunner. Um, I'd go for the Stun Lancer. Okay. I'm planning to kill the Sectoid with the Shinobi, hopefully, but it's going to be awkward because of this mech that we keep hearing. Um, they're, are they yellow? It doesn't matter, because on my turn, if I pull them, they can't do anything anyways, right? Yeah, exactly. Okay. And then I'm gonna have a shot at this guy. It's a pretty good hit. Hello! At first, Advent deployed non-lethal stun units for crowd control. Oh my god, they really bunched up. Let's shoot him with a rocket. <laughs> he flank himself even, the sharpshooter who's hollow targeted. If we swing right, he did. He's flankable over here too. Yeah. That's not super well. Actually it's pretty shit line of sight. Could get the other pod doing that, could get that mech. I really don't want to deal with the mech this turn. But it's not think... that bad to pull the mech. Like, it has a 50% chance of shooting us if it patrols into us. And knowing where it is has some pretty nice value. We can even suppress it, and mechs are pretty shit if you suppress them, honestly. Okay. They get one shot, which has like 15% chance to hit, 20% chance to hit. Sometimes it'll even overwatch instead of using it. I'd save the frag. I'd try to flank the stun lancer. And I'm sort of okay with the other two being alive. Really? Area suppress them. fucking mech over there too? Oh my god. Well, I can't move an area suppress, so... Can't you? Oh. No, you oh, crap. Because of ammo. Mm. 
So if I want to move up, I can only see How are you going to kill them? Is the question. Like, what are you paying in order to kill those guys? Mm, I don't know. We could be. Are you going to dash the Shinobi in with the sword? Maybe. Maybe. Don't have to. Shinobi's going to get revealed this turn, anyways, though, so I might as well. I guess she could back up to, like, there. I'm not sure there's a huge advantage to that. I guess if we're going to take a risky move, like, moving. I mean, the thing is, this is this is a flank, but it's not a guaranteed kill, and it uses my Grenadier up to do that. And I would like to at least kill the one Lancer, right? Is that a flank? No. I think it's pretty reasonable to just use a grenade this turn. Like, grenade... One, one of the non-grenadier grenades. That. Oh, can we do that? Do we have range? I can go to here and grenade, I'm pretty sure. With the rookie. If we have range that way, I think I'd try the flanking SMG shot with the grenadier, and if it misses, we just grenade the stun lancer. All right. Well, this the thing with this though is uh, we have no con the, we can't put the gunner on this tile, which means if fun yeah. lancer comes, fun lancer goes after the highest HP person though. It's just I think it's completely random who he attacks right now. Okay. So, all right. Well, let's try this. Let's see if it goes in grenade Absolutely. range. Yeah, I can definitely get him with a grenade, and we can maybe even flashbang if we don't do that. So perhaps. We go here then and roll on the uh sure thing. Eighty percent. That's not too terrible. Don't shoot me in the face. Okay. By the numbers. This is right. a really valuable fog we just revealed. I'm like we see so much of what's going on that I'm almost I'm, going to commit I'm almost feeling good about killing the shinobi's, uh, yeah, killing the second with the shinobi. Kind of think stomach. next turn might be shinobi. fine with that, with the shinobi, because uh, yeah, you know, I'd be tempted to move. You no, know, the the fucking lancer's gonna reveal him if I go there, isn't he? Is there anywhere that's worth moving this shinobi to? I would take a blue move that revealed some fog while keeping my concealment, and then if it didn't show me a mech in a place which was really scary, I would just kill the sectoid here. Well, the only option for that then is here or here. I'm not even sure there lets me reach it. It's a maybe. I think it would. It would. Yeah. I'd, I'd go there. Yeah, sure. Okay. Right, can I actually get this guy? No, I can't. I can't slash anyone here. You can flush. Oh right. It's I don't know. This backwards. this move is still still a little bit iffy. So you don't have to do this. Um, I feel uncomfortable with it. Why don't we just flash back? I also feel very uncomfortable with. Uh, I just feel very uncomfortable with killing a mech plus like another officer or something if they All patrol right, in go. and we haven't dealt damage with the shinobi this turn because the rest of our soldiers deal quite low damage. Oh, I see. So the worry is we need the action next turn. Um, if you're going to try to control stuff, I also I wouldn't mind suppressing the sectoid and leaving the stun lancer uncontrolled. <sighs> the stun lancer doesn't have that great a chance to kill anything. Um, uh, he's pretty annoying. Though. In fact, I'm pretty sure it can never kill anything, and it's going to run at you and kill itself. Like once it's standing next to you. Actually, we can't even kill it. Never mind. No, like. Flashback. It's not in range of the sword. Yeah. So we, you were considering going after the Sun Lancer as opposed to the Sectoid? I I think you should just flashbang them and, yep. and deal with it that way, I guess. Next turn we have a grenade and we have the sharpshooter back, so we should be able to get some good damage in. Alright, I think I'm going to flash them, and then I think I'm going to suppress the Sun Lancer. He's going to run it anyways and get shot, right? Not if he's flashbanged. You could... Hmm. Oh, you could flashbang the sectoid only and suppress the stun lancer. The stun lancer will run it. He'll take damage and he'll have the debuff to chance to hit from the suppression. Don't think I can if just you can hit the sectoid. I, you might have to cheat it through the wall. Maybe land it on the window frame to the left of the sectoid. Looks like it's not happening, huh? Nope. Yeah. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna 
suppress. I could suppress the sectoid and just not suppress the Sun Lancer. Does that help anything? Because he, he's going to get closer this way. Is he in range for his. I think uh, the sectoid overwatches if you suppress him. I think. I think. Whoever you're suppressing is just gonna overwatch probably. The Sun Lancer is not going to I could not suppress. Maybe, maybe he'll and reload. He might like hunt or you could overwatch. That way if the mech walks in, you get a defensive shot. If those guys move, you get shots at them. And it sort of does the same thing as suppression. for hardcover and a fuck oh they're shooting on the i didn't think that guy was in range damn I'm down here. all right neither did i i didn't understand that or i might have done that a little differently with the suppressions okay but they did just take both actions uh, which is great i didn't hear the mech this turn i now have a much better uh, range on the uh the uh, shinobi stuff could grenade this again it's a fairly easy grenade but i think i kind of want the consumables for what's coming up although maybe not how else are we going to kill them, honestly? Yeah, I think we have to grenade. 